So we're out at the range today to answer a common question and comment that we get, and that is, will our level three or three plus plate stop a 4570? So kind of interesting, we get this question a lot because your 4570 is not a super common round. Uh, that being said, I think really we think Chris Pratt and Jurassic Park for this one. They use, Chris Pratt uses the 4570 lever action as his dinosaur gun in, that, in the movies. Uh, and since then, it's kind of become known as the T-Rex gun. So I guess that's why people want to know, will your armor stop a T-Rex gun? So that's what we're going to test today. Also, those new lever action 4570s are uh, nice looking guns. It's so hot right now. But uh, we don't have one of those sexy guns today, but we do have a trusty old 4570 that will kick out the same results. Uh, just might not look as good doing it. But today we're going to keep it nice and simple. We're going to put our plate, our level three plate up against the clay box. We're going to shoot a couple rounds at it, uh, see if it stops those rounds, go and check, make sure there's no penetration, and also check the back face deformation in the clay. Uh, if our level three doesn't stop it, we'll jump up to level three plus. If our level three stops it, we'll call it good there. No reason to jump up three plus, if our level three will stop that. So a little about the 4570. These are not high velocity rounds. So your 4570 round, packs a punch, it's gonna hit hard, but it does not travel to high velocity. This particular round's a 325 grain Hornady. It's one of your faster shooting uh, 4570 rounds, and it's traveling about 2,000 feet per second. So by no means a high velocity round. Now, the weakness to steel armor, the real killer to steel armor is speed, velocity. That's uh, the weakness of steel armor. So my assumption is going to be that this 4570 round is not able to penetrate this level three plate. but. Proofs in the pudding, we'll slap it up there, shoot a couple rounds at it and see what we get. So we got the level three plate set up against the clay box about 15 yards down range. Um, let's test and see what it does. The one thing I do know it's gonna do is this gun is gonna kick me like a mule. It's a short barreled, lighter weight, 4570, so I'm gonna fill it. Let's see how the plate does though. I think I hit the strap. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Devin, for your strap. It was donated to the cause. Let's go see what happened. So you can see that indentation in the clay there. That impact right there. Whew, dead center. Somebody's a dead eye. And then uh, you see that lump in the back a little bit. So this here is a I mean, that's a well within the standards. I forgot my little gauge and we can measure it when you get back to the shop if you want, but uh, it's well within the standards. Um, but no penetration, pretty minimal back face deformation, really. Uh, I'm not saying you're not gonna fill that shot. There's a lot of impact on that shot. But as you can see, level three plate is gonna stop that round. So if you're looking for protection from a T-Rex gun, look no further, Predator Armor's got you covered. It'll. Uh, It'll stop that T-Rex ammo. So anyway, any other things you want to see us shoot, test out, let us know. Love to hear it. Love to, to answer any questions or comments you guys have. As always, you can get our gear at PredatorArmor.com.